Hi guys, Tatiana is here. I remember when I just started learning how to play the bass, my teacher used to tell me that my left hand always needed to stay on the neck. Because if the strap on my bass breaks off, my instrument can fall, and holding it by the neck, I would protect my own legs and my instrument from falling and breaking. But you know, sometimes in the concerts you can see the bass players and the guitar players, they just jump happily like this when they don't play and they uh, use their hands and they don't have to hold the instruments. Uh, why do they do this? They can do this because their instruments are very well protected, their strips are secured and their instruments won't fall. And we can do the same. This is an example of acoustic instrument, but very often on electric instruments it happens the same way. So that the strip can easily be taken off and it can just break off during the show and fall down, of course. We don't want this to happen. Very well protected strap. This is made for the students at school so that they can jump happily with this instrument and this will never fall down. This is an old system and I'm not sure if they exist these days. It looks not perfect, but it works well. And if they want to undo the strap, they need to do this. This is another good example when nothing was done with the guitar itself, but the strap has a special mechanism. If you want to put it on, you press the buttons. If you want to take it off, you press the buttons. During the show, you don't press the buttons, so it's very tightly secured here and the bass won't fall down. It's the same on the other side of the strap. This is one more example of a strap lock. It looks like two plastic rings and they are just put on the strap and they secure the strap so that it doesn't fall down. They can be turned around each other and released. This is how you do and undo them. I wouldn't recommend you buy them because I have a strange experience using them. I needed to buy many of them, about 20 for one music department, and I booked them very cheap on uh, AliExpress, and just a few of them worked well, the others weren't well adjusted. Most likely, if you book them, they just won't work. That's why I don't recommend you to buy them. And this is a system which I want to show you how to install. This is a strap lock, strap retainer system made by Dunlop and they work very well. I really love them and I decided to install them on my own bass today. That's why I'm filming this video for you. The first thing I need to do is removing the old strap pins. <laughs> collecting the strap lock. Taking this detail and putting it inside the hole. Next, this side, the big ring is coming and the small ring is coming and it's going to protect the strip so it won't fall. little ring will make sure that the potential energy of falling your bass 
will always stay potential. So now we have this lovely strap lock on the strap and I will show you how it works. You press the button, you put it inside, you let it go. All done. It's movable, but it's very reliably protected. It will never fall down. The same thing I'm going to do with the bottom of my bass. There are many strap lock systems available online if you search for them. Uh, some of them are cheap and some of them are much more expensive. And for me, I haven't tried them all, of course, uh, but I've realized that usually the cheap systems don't work well for me and my basses. And uh, I buy Dunlop systems for my favorite instruments. This is not a paid advert, actually. <laughs> I'm just showing how to use my favorite system, which works well. Now, I don't have to put my left hand always on the neck, because my bass is protected. And I can clap, I can dance, of course, with the volume off, because I don't want that ugly noises. And my instrument is protected, and I'm happy. Good luck and happy practicing!